you go to a restaurant and you see that they've got great raw fish on the menu and you order it and you feel really yeah. good about it. It could be raw tuna, it yeah. could be carpaccio. But when, when you're at home, it, you hesitate to do that sort of thing. You're thinking, I don't want to deal with raw meat. Yeah. Like, I don't know how that's going to yeah. turn out. We We're going to get you over your fear. That's right. Beef carpaccio, beef tata, mm -hmm. ceviches, which yes. is, you know, raw fish but cooked with citrus today. Yeah. We're going to put all those fears behind us. We spend good money on this at restaurants, as you said, but now we're going to do it at home. And there is some big myths that I need you to, to get, get over. past. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the old obligatory glove routine. If you have a gag on that, like is often the case. Yeah, it's probably good to be safe. Okay, now I, I mean in a commercial environment you would wear a glove, but at home you know where your hand's been, mm -hmm. so you, you may or may not have to. I hope to. so. Yeah. So we're going to do two things today. I'm going to do, uh, gonna do trout tartare. Okay. Um, and we, uh, sorry, trout ceviche, and we're going to do a beef... Uh, tartare. Beef tartare. Okay. Now, one thing that blew my mind is that there is no official status for sashimi. It doesn't okay. exist. People say sashimi uh, quality tuna, sh sashimi quality salmon does not exist. It is a, a judgment call made on oh. the chef in those Japanese restaurants. It is just the freshest that they're capable of getting. So okay. you have access to that too. Okay. So All what right. I've got here is rainbow trout. I like yeah. rainbow trout in this dish because it's a little more delicate. Right. Super available fresh all year round because the farming is really good on this. Tastes so, amazing trout. Tastes amazing, yeah. About six ounces that I've finally chopped here. Yeah. To that, I'm going to add a little lemon zest. Okay. A little lemon juice. So what is the lemon doing? Uh, is it just for flavor, or is it doing a little bit more than that? It does cook it. Okay. Because the acidity in it has, has the ability to kind of very slowly, you'll, you'll see it over the course of an hour or so, if you put this in the fridge it will start to go white, which is cooking it. Right. I've so it's not really raw raw? Well, it, it is mostly raw. It depends on how long you let it sit for. Okay. The, the, the idea here would be to maybe do this maybe 20 minutes before, so you get a little colorization, a little clouding. Right. I've got some toasted sesame seeds, I've got some sesame oil. I'm kind of, you know, I'm a big fan of the Asian inspired flavors here. Mm -hmm. a little Got a little bit of, salt. bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. So if you're actually entertaining, you're doing this, you're doing this as the guests arrive. This is not something arrive. that's happening the night the day before. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Look how quick this is. Yeah. And so, you want it to be the freshest it can possibly be. Fresh as it can possibly be. So I'm gonna lay that out on a plate like so. This would be enough for kind of two as an appetizer. Yeah. So is there anything you need to know in terms of caution with dealing with raw protein? Well, or is it just go for it? There, Wash your hands and go for it. <laughs> well, we're not getting that crazy just yet. Um, I'm going to finish that up with a bit of dill. What you do want to do is, particularly with fish, you want to get to know the guy in your supermarket mm -hmm. or... Um, Know your fishmonger. Know your fishmonger, but supermarkets do, the, do have the ability to, to sell you this kind of quality. So you should be asking though at the supermarket, who, where did this come from? How long has it been sitting here? Yeah. And you're going to get honest answers more than not. Exactly. More often than not. Okay. But get them to butcher the uh, the fish for you in front of you, and they'll tell you. You know, the best the best thing is your nose. Yeah. What are you looking for? So your nose. What should you be smelling to make sure that it's a good piece of fish? You will know if it's not. That's so the easiest part. <laughs> Is that easy? There's no. So there's if no... it smells fishy, is that good or is that bad? No smell. A light so smell no of the smell. ocean is what you want. Okay, needs yes. the smell of the ocean. Smell of the ocean. Okay. Like oysters. If you're inland, that's probably hard to get fish that's that fresh, though, right? I mean, it no, takes a while. No, you'd be surprised. Really? Yeah, farm stuff comes in very fresh. Now, okay, let's talk beef about tata. beef. Often associated with uh, tenderloin, which is the most expensive cut. That's your yep. filet mignon, but in a restaurant it would have bacon wrapped around it. Yeah. Um, it is naturally tender, light on flavor because it's light on, on fat. Mm -hmm. Now, you can use top sirloin, which is typically associated with this dish. It's half the price. Yeah. And when you cut meat, you are tenderizing it. Okay. So the fact that you're paying double for what that is... Um, is irrelevant. Okay. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to cut it up. I've got most of it cut here. Anything we need to know about the cutting? No. no. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Okay. Um, finely chopped. Yeah. Like so. You can leave a little bit of fat on the outside. Now, the thing with beef, and this is where it blows people's mind, it blew my mind too, is that bacteria cannot penetrate beef when it's in one piece. 
Oh, okay. It cannot penetrate that. So then it's only a problem when it's like this. It's only a problem when it's like this. So you want to do this about an, anywhere up to a couple of hours prior. Yeah. Um, to so that, make sure it's fresh. I'm going to add a little bit of spring onions, a little uh -huh. bit of capers, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of Tabasco. Mm -hmm. To give it some of, flavor. A bit of Worcestershire. Because it's just raw. It's just raw. It's just raw. I'm going to stir Don't that Don't be scared out. of it. It's fine. I mean, I guess the lesson that we're getting here is just do it. Just do it. Yeah, just try it out. Yeah. It's going to be as fresh as anything you would get at the store as long as you are particular about uh, where that that meat has come from, right? That's it. So ask the questions. Yep.